everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you all are doing well today I wanted to talk to you about some of the things that I found helpful while getting through JJ Smith's green smoothie cleanse once again if you are deciding to do the cleanse I hope these tips can be helpful for you um, in making the cleanse as much of a success as possible so the first tip is to let people know what you're doing uh, and I feel like this is important because they won't tempt you to eat certain things. They'll know that you are working on yourself, you're working on this cleanse, you have your specific meals, which are the smoothies, prepared for you. Uh, hopefully they don't invite you out to big dinners and gatherings and things like that. That may make it hard for you to stay on track. Uh, I found that when I let my friends and family know what I was doing, they were actually really encouraging and they made sure that I stayed on track. If you have good people in your life, hopefully that is what the outcome would be by letting them know what you're doing. So the next tip would be to get an accountability partner. Uh, this can be anyone that you know will push you when it gets hard. And I can honestly say around day three and four, it can be a little challenging and you can ask yourself why am I doing this I really want to eat this that and the next thing uh, but if you have somebody in your life that knows your goals and knows that this is best for you they'll assist you in pushing through and staying on track next tip and I feel like this probably was one of the most important for me and that is preparation so please make sure you have everything you need set up before you start the cleanse. That means go through the book because it lists exactly what the groceries will be that you're needing for the first five days and then the second five days. Get everything that's listed there. Prep it the best way you can at home. I've seen some people uh, divide each individual smoothie day into a plastic, like a Ziploc bag and freeze it so they can just grab it, throw it in the blender and they're ready to go for the day. Uh, if you don't know, what you do is you prepare one really large smoothie uh, for the entire day and then you just split that up into however meal portions you you would like to do. For me, it's three, so one for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then I have snacks in between. So just make sure you're prepared. If there's any fresh fruit you're using, chop it up, clean it, uh, have it somewhere that you can grab easily. And also, know when you want to eat. Know what times you want to eat. For me, it was easy because I just set it up based on my working schedule and when I took breaks. And that's when I would eat. I knew that I didn't want to have a smoothie any later than 7 o'clock. So that was my last meal of the day. It just kept me on track. It became a routine. Uh, and there was one day, I believe, that I was not home. And it threw me off slightly. And I didn't feel very good uh, because I got my smoothie in too late in the day. So you do want to make sure that you are consuming it early enough in the day uh, just to give you some energy. <sighs> Next tip is to have snacks. So JJ Smith does advise to have snacks. Some of the things she recommends are nuts and seeds, only about a handful a day. I've made a really good mix of some nuts and seeds that I enjoy and I did add a few raisins in there because I just needed a little something and it worked out okay for me. So I'm going to do a separate video on the exact mix that I made but it was really good. Uh, so that was a big staple. I also snacked on cucumbers. Another snack she suggests are eggs, hard-boiled eggs, and any kind of crunchy vegetable uh, or fruit. So I would have apple with sugar-free peanut butter or uh, my cucumbers. I just put a little bit of apple cider vinegar on them and black pepper and that was really tasty as well. So just have your snacks know what they're going to be and when you feel yourself wavering grab a snack it'll save you another weird tip that i have or thing that i did was watch food videos uh on youtube or food video clips like on instagram uh just different recipes because i always like to every time i do this cleanse that's something that i do I look at different recipes. I start getting more creative in my mind about things that I want to eat since I know I'm not eating uh, 
the food that I typically eat while I'm doing the cleanse. So find videos of recipes, watching other people eat. It sounds weird. I know it may be weird or strange to some of you, but for me, it's satisfying seeing them satisfied and the cravings go away. And to be honest, I didn't have a lot of cravings this time. This was probably the most successful cleanse that I've done as far as cravings and just how I was feeling in general. I felt really good the majority of the cleanse. So that may work for you watching other people eat or just finding new creative recipes uh, to hold you over. And the last thing I did was exercise. So I definitely recommend exercising. Uh, she, in the book she does talk about exercise and how to not do such strenuous exercise while you're on the cleanse. Most likely you're drastically reducing the calories you normally eat in a typical day. Uh, but for me, yoga and Pilates, walking, it's not that strenuous and I maintain my routine every day and it really left me with a clear mind. It really gave me the motivation to get through the cleanse. I like to work out first thing in the morning as soon as I roll out of bed so that just sets the tone for my day. So those are all the tips and things that I did that got me through the cleanse. I will be starting the cleanse again. This coming Monday, I took about a week and a half off. Um, I eased into regular food again. Um, nothing heavy, nothing really processed. I think I had a cookie the other day, a tiny little cookie, and I was satisfied with that and even thought to myself I could have done without it. But I wanted to do the cleanse for another five days um, because I do have some health things that I'm working on. So if you want to jump in this time, feel free to. I will always leave the link to the book below. It is my favorite cleanse. I will always recommend it. I will recommend it to anyone. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Let me know also if you've ever done the cleanse, if you've done the cleanse successfully, what was your experience, if you will do it again. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.